everybody welcome to sunday afternoon time for another episode of selling past your expiration date being through there 50 i'm your one host jay i'm peg hello from browns land tonight's the <laughs> night <laughs> browns land yeah well you know i'm hoping i'm hoping i mean it's you know we got a tough tough one ahead of us tonight but uh but the browns haven't been on tv on sunday night in a long long time so you know we're, we're hoping i got my browns gear on woof 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 Look, I even have a Browns class tonight, JG. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Got my gear on. I'm ready. I'm ready to cheer it. There we go. You know, and it's 87 degrees. Here. Oh, yeah. And I wanted to check what our what temperature is it here. Oh, yesterday and today, you guys, 87. <laughs> I mean, you know, it is September, what, 22nd? It's 88. Got you 88. by one degree. Oh, one degree. I mean, you know, this isn't. Natural. I was at my sister's yesterday in her pool for four hours yesterday afternoon. I mean, we're hardly ever in a pool in September <laughs> in Ohio, that's for sure. So that's in true Cleveland fashion, it'll be uh, snowing by next Thursday. Oh, yeah, it could. That's for darn sure. What's happening, everybody? Thank you for joining us on this Sunday. Yes. Uh, Emmy, Emmy Sunday, too. So oh, not only yeah. is it Cleveland Browns on Sunday Night Football, it's the Emmys. So Yeah, a lot of my favorites are up, too. So I'll, I'll be doing a lot of TV wing and watching late, late, late tonight. <laughs> and we have a special guest. Yes, we do. Hey, Hi, hey, hey. People won't really hear because the only mic on is this one. So Hi. much better. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs> much better. We had to have a special Oops. guest tonight so we could uh, show you what we wanted. Yeah. Keep. So what we're doing tonight is we're showing you how to use the multiple user uh, interface on both eBay and Inkfrog, if you happen to use Inkfrog. So if you've hired somebody, if you've got your kid working for you, if you've got the local teenager working for you, this will show you how to give them the use of listing for you, but they won't have full access to your eBay account. So they can't be like, oh, let's delete all this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so... You might not have an assistant or employee yet, but I always say the, the only way to go to the next level of this business is to get some help because majority of the uh, time is eaten up by taking photos and listing. So you always start, I recommend you always start with someone taking photos and then get them into listing. That way it leaves you to do the sourcing and the working on different platforms and social media to drive people to your things because the ground work is the picture taken and the listing. So, uh, so that's what we're gonna talk about tonight. And uh, not gonna be a real deep subject, but uh, we wanted to show you. So Stacy is our live volunteer tonight. <laughs> you know, I, I think I think what mom needs to do. Oh yes, yes there, yes. We, I've been went to a ton of sales this weekend. That's why my haul is so big. So the, the sales are still going here in Ohio. Um, but but I was gonna say if uh, mom maybe mom needs to hire somebody to do uh, shipping and listings. You know what? When we go away on vacation, we have nobody. So this might be something that mom needs to you know incorporate, honey. You know. Yeah, you need a new picture taker. So. Yeah yeah. I know. <laughs> it's time to retire the current one. <laughs> and he, he, yeah, he's he's just not quite up to where he should be. You know. But it helps mom. It saves me a lot of time, that's for sure. So, you know, I so, can So, uh, Mark's got a question as soon as it pops uh -huh. up and gives me the ability okay. to show it. Come on. Oh, Come on, okay. please. Wow. It's a weird delay today. Yeah. One of those, huh? Yeah. So, we'll go back to Jane. Yep. Still having in Ohio. Yeah. Debbie says, hi, Stacy. There we go. There we go. There's How my. did you let go of those things as photo taker? You mean let go of doing it? Doing it myself? I was, of all the things that we do, I was so happy to find someone to take photos. Hallelujah. 
because yeah. you already have your processes set up. You have, you know, I do a lot of clothes. So I got my mannequins. Here's how I take tiki mugs. Here's how I take jeans. Here's how I take CDs and stuff. So once I teach somebody here, here's a tub of t-shirts today. Here's a tub of jeans have at it. So, I mean, that's such a grunt level work that I can work on a thousand other projects. Like uh, right now I have to get a webinar done for the secret beach for the end of the month. I'm getting another webinar for everybody done. Uh, I've got a webinar and a special group that's asked me to do a webinar coming up in a week and a half. So I got a lot of things I got to do. I need someone else sure. doing the listings, the pictures and the, all mm -hmm. that stuff. So, uh, you know, maybe Angela I can never let go of anything. I didn't have my claw marks all over it. Well, <laughs> that that's the only way to grow. You have to be able to let go. Right. You have to. You got to be able to let go of shipping. You got to be able to let go of taking pictures, listing, because your talent typically is in the sourcing. Right. And then you should be figuring out, especially with, uh, especially since Angela's here in the chat, you should be figuring out how to use the social media share threads every day in the thrifting board to drive more traffic to you. How to how to get your store noticed uh, more places, mm -hmm. be on more platforms. That's what you should be working on. You should be taking pictures. You should be working on expanding to Macari and Poshmark and Depop and Etsy and all true. these other things. Yeah, I mean that 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 you know, there's there's so much now to to venture out to to bring more business to your your site that you know you do have to kind of let go. I mean, uh, I, I'm almost tempted to see if I can teach your brother how to do some shipping and some, <laughs> really. Can I laugh a lot? You know, he's right here. And uh, if I could get him to teach him how to do shipping, that would be fantastic. So when we do go away, dad and I together, you know, I've got someone here to do it. So I might talk to him about that. And Angel says, I don't think my photos are that consistently good that I can effectively teach anyone. All you got to teach them is, you know, the angles you want. And then once they've conquered it, every single assistant has brought something new to the table. They've all right. been like, hey, these are great. But if you did the angle this way, it would look cooler. And I'm like, oh, yeah. So yeah. a lot of the things I do are from assistants over the years who have been like, this is good, Jay, but this could be cooler. Yeah, I remember you've, you've said that, Jason, that they have brought in new ways to, to shoot oh. photos. And, and that's a plus because you never know, especially if it's a younger person, sometimes they have a much better idea than we do, you know, of how to shoot something. So uh, photos, that I, I, yeah, because my mom, I started out taking photos. That was before dad got involved. And so I was doing my photos because I was only doing clothing when I first started. And uh, but since we've expanded, you know, dad has taken over into doing all the photo taking, really. I don't even know if I could run the camera <laughs> anymore because it's been so long since I've done any photos. Now, I am moving all my photos to my iPhone. I just bought oh. the brand new iPhone 11. Uh, what's it called? Pro Max. Pro Max. So it has got three cameras on the backside. Wow that are amazing and if you've got issues with low light and this is only on the top level one the low light feature on this is insane so what do you have the iphone 7 yeah. so the other night we were sitting in our house i had stacy toss me her phone i took a picture of stacy so this is me taking the picture i didn't do anything i just turned the camera on snapped the picture okay so that's the picture in this picture is stacy on a on a couch oh my right? goodness so I then took my iPhone 11 and snapped the same picture without doing anything, without moving, without changing the lighting. That's how oh different my, it is. Oh, my goodness. So that the low-level pictures you're, you're able to take with this phone are absolutely bonkers and insane, which means all my Tiki Bar pictures now will be amazing. Yes, that's right. <laughs> every Tiki Bar picture you take is low light for the most part. So. That, that's that's a plus. That's a nice feature. Yeah. So I actually got a, a mount for the tripod for the iPhone because also I have Apple products throughout. So as the assistant's taking pictures, it'll be automatically in this computer, the assistant's computer, my iPad. So the photos will be everywhere. So, yeah, we're, we're getting rid of the regular camera. And switch only to iPhone, but we're not talking about that today. But what we're talking about is <laughs> adding an assistant to your listings. Okay, so here's how it's supposed to work. And for some reason, I don't get that feature right now. I don't know if there's a glitch. I don't know if it's a slow rollout, but I will show you where it's supposed to be, and then I'll show you the back door thanks to Angela. Okay, so from your seller hub, you go to my eBay. And then you go to account, which is right here. And then on this screen, there should be a link that says permissions. Oops. Hold on. Yeah. 
it's weird. What when I clicked this link the other day, it was a totally different looking thing. So crazy. All right. So this is kind of the side door then kind of working the right way, but kind of not. So right here is permissions right there under your account. So you want to click on that and then it's just super duper easy. You click on add user right here. All right. And then add the user. So Stacy Smith and what is it? Tiki Stacy. All right, and then their email. And then you have two options. Create and edit drafts. That means they can just get them ready. Or publish and revise listings. So create and edit drafts, really, they have no power other than to get stuff ready for you. Publish and revise listings means they can actually send them live. They can they can go into your live listings and do some, some mucking around. So depending on how new they are, how much you trust them, that's going to be your decision if you want them to have full uh, abilities or just to do the listing. So I think I trust Stacy. <laughs> so uh, uh, I'm going to give her. I'm going to give her both options, and I'm going to click Add User. Ha <laughs> ha. Well. Did you delete that email already? Okay, so since we practice this, and I can't just do it organically because we've already done this, so. Got it. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. It's still open. It's in its own. Excuse us. Talk for a second, Mom. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, as I said, I went out. Uh, Dad and I went out thrifting a lot this uh, week, and because the weather was so gorgeous. Are you back or not yet? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay. And. Uh, uh, my haul is really huge. I just hope I can get to everything to show you guys. Uh, lots of goodies, really lots of goodies to, this weekend. So I'm anxious to share. You going? Oh, okay. All right. Well, how many are going to watch the Emmys tonight? Oh, I know what I want to say. We're talking about glitches. I see the little uh, note in the chat there. Uh, I have had a glitch that they still haven't fixed. I cannot answer offers on my computer. I can only answer them on my mobile phone. Um, so I just wonder if anybody else has that glitch. I get the eBay uh, uh, email from eBay that says I've got the offer, but there's I, when I go in to hit the manage offers, there's nowhere for me to accept or counter. So just wondering if anyone else has that glitch. I'm trying to see if that's there, no. Okay. The other thing I'm going to talk about then while Jason is there, uh, I have been utilizing, well, I'm, I'm hearing feedback. Stacey, are you hearing, is anybody hearing feedback on me, Jason? No, nope, just you. Okay. All right. Um, I have been utilizing the uh, uh, manage offers thing that, you know, eBay has put in now. I'm doing extremely well with that, you guys. Um, I had, the first week I, I used it, I sent out, uh, well, a bunch of offers because I hadn't touched it before. And I think I, I, I sent out offers of uh, like around 72. And out of the 72 that I sent, I got 24 um, offers and took them all. Because nice. Of, yeah. And uh, yeah, so I, I had over 350 bucks just in those sales. Some were big and some were just small things that were ancient history. And I was just glad to see them go. So I've been doing that every morning. I go in and see what's available, send them out. And uh, I'm averaging very well on that, Jason. And mom's getting good response on that. Really. So Matt says he couldn't have photos the other day. If you're using Frog, I never have those problems. Yeah, yeah. Because when I'm not using eBay, it I'm creating it on Ink Frog and I'm pushing it right on through. So and every time everyone's having these crazy hiccups, and I don't want to ever have them. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to reinstate her uh, access. But here is what the email looks like that she received. And it's good for 24 hours. So okay. whoever you're having help you, they've got 24 hours to accept it. So if Stacy clicks accept invite. Okay. So there she is. Now she is a, an assistant to Tiki Pug Music. So if she clicks on action. Yep. 
So go to Seller Hub, and then it's going to be taking her to my Seller Hub. What? All right. I took you off the screen for a second. Tell me when you're there. Why don't you get beyond that point? Oh, I didn't know if you wanted Yeah, no. That's going to happen. No, sign it in. I don't need to see you sign in. So just get signed. Nope. Get signed in, and then we'll then we'll share. All right. So, boom. There's Stacy in my seller hub. And as you can see, she can only see the listings. The actives. Nope. Don't. Don't put it on yet. Uh, the drafts. The ended. So, she doesn't have any access to sales, to my PayPal, anything else. She just has access to the listings. Now, if you click on the drop down next to that first one there, babe. Yep. Oh, she can only add, edit the notes. She can't end them. That's cool. Ah. So uh, there you go. Then she's got access to do her work. Uh, <laughs> not really, Paul. So Paul's like 6,200 items. Not really. <laughs> so I use a service called Web Interpret. Web Interpret. They take all my listings and they put them directly on six different foreign eBay sites. So for the most part, most of my listings have five or six counterparts to them. And so it looks like I have 6,200 listings. But the second I sell something on any of the sites, the duplicates on every other site gets ended automatically. So my unsolds look ridiculous too. Because every time I sell something, I have five unsolds that follow it. So, did you see that? Does the assistant have to be signed out of their own account to get signed into yours? I don't think so because, as Stacy showed, she just found the link from that right into my account. Yeah, she she's in her own eBay, but as you can see, she followed the link right to my account, so it doesn't really matter because they're two they're two totally separate things. Rich is going to let uh, Nyla be his assistant, so that's I like, nice. I like that one. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, it's super duper easy, but it's also very easy. Say uh, Stacy just goes crazy and starts listing everything for a penny, and I don't want her to do that anymore. I am going to revoke her access. Oh, okay. Yes, I am sure. Interesting. Now, if Stacy goes and tries to create a listing, let's see here how far you get. Nope. So the second I revoke her uh, status, it's over, Johnny. Now, if you revoke her, can she come back in and you can accept her? Can you put her back in? Yeah, that's what we just did. So okay, I revoked right. her earlier today. Oh, gotcha. Okay. And now I can reinstate access. Okay. That's cool. Yep. All right. So that is eBay. And I've never done it on Ink Frog. So we thought we'd, we thought it'd be more fun to do it live in case, you know, it went bad. It'd be funnier. Uh -huh. <laughs> so under so if you do use Ink Frog under settings there's staff accounts and I can add a user and it's the same kind of thing Stacy Smith Tiki Stacy at gmail.com phone is optional I'll put your phone in there uh ba -ba -ba -ba. and then you can decide what access they have to the full dashboard to solds, to unsolds, uh, you know, you can uncheck things so they can't see the solds and the unsolds. They can see the lives. They can create new listings, submit to eBay. So there you go. You can be very specific what your user can see. So let's send the invite. So this is how eBay would look if Stacy was fresh and getting the invite. It would say invited, waiting for them. Did you get the email? Yeah. So here's what the email looks like. So go ahead and click on accept invitation. So they want you to give it a password apparently. Okay. So I've taken you off screen. <clears throat> so this way, for those of you who use uh, Inkfrog, you can do it that way also. Are you good? Yeah. All right, and there she is in my Inkfrog. Ta-da! Well, it's not very so, hard, that's for sure. No, as you can see, it's very easy. Yeah. So if we, if we come back to what I, oops, I didn't do that. If we come back to what I'm seeing, it'll go from invited invited to active, and then I can just delete her account. Bye, Stace. You're out. See ya. You're so fickle. <laughs> <laughs> you 
you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, there's a good question there, Jason, from 4011 Rancher. Did you see that question? Uh, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Okay. We do not know that one. All righty. But I will tell you this. I had someone contact me today that is building a website like that. He wants to know if I want to test it out. And, and put it through his paces. So it'll take your listings mm. and it'll take your eBay listings and it'll move them to Etsy. It'll move them to Poshmark and so forth and so on. So that would be nice. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that is how you do it. Any other questions on that? I think, uh, I think it's pretty sim simple, self-explanatory. I do hope you all get to the point where you're using a, uh, an assistant. Doesn't have to be anything, you know, I think people hear that and they're like, oh, my God, I got to hire an assistant in 40 hours and mm -hmm. and have insurance, all that stuff. No, like it, it can be as simple as the, the next door neighbor teenager just to get going. Just start the pictures. Like, look, listen to your music. Take these pictures and we'll be all good. So my my teenager is a weird one. I think I said this before, but she's 17. It's 2019. She's 17. She comes to work in a Metallica T-shirt, which typically isn't a 17-year-old's type band. Right. In, you know, in 2019, and then she listens to Paul and Oates, and I'm like, "What year is it? What's happening right now? What, <laughs> what? 17 year olds listening to Paul and Oates while wearing a Metallica T-shirt? Yeah, no kidding." <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, so if you're asking about the web interpret, it, that's just listing on various eBay sites. So that's a great. Uh, Susan pops up. I'll pop it up there from uh, Susan. No one around here could trust. Now, there's got to be somebody. You live in Minnesota. There's nice people there. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I put a put an ad out. I interview people at the local Starbucks. And, you know, that's where I, I, I've got a couple assistants from friends. But for the most part, it's hired people through placing an ad. And I've had, I've had pretty good success. I, you know, I've lost people to move in and, uh, and want to be a lawyer. Yeah. And things like that. But... Uh, for the most part, I've had pretty good success. All right, Stace, thank you very much for your Thank you, your my help. Stacey. <laughs> it just seems, sweetheart. You know that. All right, so I'm taking, I'm kicking Stace out of here. All right. Hey, good news. Pittsburgh lost. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Pittsburgh fans, sure. if you're in the chat. <laughs> now all we have to do is win tonight. <laughs> all right, so uh, this Thursday night on a Thrifty Business, 8 o'clock East Coast, 5 o'clock West Coast, Thursday the 26th. Jeannie LaSalle, she was the eBay Shine Award winner, or one of the eBay Shine Award winners this year, 2019. Uh, Jeannie grew up in the foster uh, system, and she helps out with uh, Glass Slipper, and Glass Slipper is young girls that are in the foster care system, and uh, teaches them uh, about business and stuff like that, and I'm going to be actually heading up to teach a class uh, to them about getting started on eBay. So uh, we'll hear about the whole journey of becoming a Shine Award winner because uh, when Jeannie was getting in town, she's like, yeah, let's hang out and do some stuff. And then she's like, oh, crap, they got me doing this, 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 this. So they keep you really hustling. Cool. They keep you really hustling. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, the Seahawks are terrible. I watched most of that game, Debbie. Uh, bummer, bummer. Uh, you mentioned you use a third party to list. Yeah, that's Ink Frog. That's the one we just showed. That's Ink Frog. So, uh, so what happens is, so there's, you're talking about two different things there, Rancher. Ink Frog is what I use to list, and then Web Interpret takes every listing from eBay.com, which is the United States, and it puts it directly on eBay Germany and on eBay Spain and on eBay Australia and on eBay UK. And so, when one of those sells, so. If I put this Bob Dylan box set up, it'll it'll look like I have six of these, which I only have one. If it sells on eBay UK, boom, eBay US gets deleted automatically. eBay uh, oh, Germany gets deleted automatically. eBay Australia deletes uh, automatically. So it is a service, service you pay for, just like uh, Ink Frog, but it has done well on my on my international sales. All right, so before we get to the rest of the fun. Coming yeah. up very soon is Ecom Chicago 2019, October 16th through the 18th. Uh, if you are coming, 
and you haven't signed up yet, get signed up. It's almost here. You can get 20 bucks off by using Tiki 20 off. It's an amazing three day event. You get so much more than you paid for. And it's great because it's a smaller event. So you get all this one on one time with all the speakers, all the coaches, all the instructors, all the sponsors, which are companies that help us in our day to day online selling business. And uh, the coolest, I think the coolest day of the three is day number one, where the coaches uh, like myself and Chris Green and others, uh, you get 20 minutes with us and we're in this one big room. So you can get 20 minutes with me. You then get 20 minutes with Chris. You can head over into the other room where the uh, sponsors are demonstrating their products, come back to a coach. Uh, it's a lot of fun. But, oh, and before we get to the but, I'm going to give away one here in a few seconds. Okay. If you are a veteran in the Chicago area or you know a veteran in the Chicago area, Vet Ticks are going to be supplying tickets for veterans free of charge. Yeah, so if you are a veteran or know a veteran that would uh, benefit from this conference, uh, message me and I will get them all hooked up. That is uh, pretty awesome. And then if you would love to go to this conference, but the money just isn't there, uh, they are giving out some grants. So the, some of the sponsors have said, hey, we're going to help out some people who couldn't pay for the whole thing and give you a greatly discounted ticket. Again, if that's you, message me. Don't be embarrassed. This is not going to be a public thing. I'm not going to be like, hey, look who needs a... No, it's going to be just between me, you, and uh, Ecom Chicago. So I'm happy to, happy to facilitate that for you. So uh, no no shame. Just if you can take that and turn into money and help yourself out, man, that is awesome. That's so, really that nice. That is so cool. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, and if you, again, again, if you've got somebody in the Chicago area or can get to Chicago uh, for this event and they couldn't afford the full ticket, let me know and we can get them all squared away. But right now, da 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 da, giving away a ticket. And I gave you some clues earlier. So here is the question What nickname was given to the Cleveland Browns during the 1980 season? Before you answer, if you can't go to Chicago, please don't answer. <laughs> I get so tired of people winning contests and then going, oh, I can't use this. <laughs> it happened just last week. So, yeah, Joanne won, won a ticket last week. Nice. So, hi, Joanne. So, if you can attend Chicago, you come Chicago, October 16th through 18th, and you want to go, you give me this answer, boom, you've got a free ticket. And I'm sorry, Linda, that no, is not the correct that's answer. That's not the right one, Lynn. Keep thinking. Or somebody Google it. The dog pound came way later than 1980. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. This was the season we came. <laughs> Jenny said her lips are zipped. Jenny tried to win every prize the other day. <laughs> Jenny's like, screw it. I'm winning everything. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's Googling? No, I say it. Uh, thank you, Angelique. <laughs> yes. So, uh, feel, you know, Hey, if you don't know Google, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, when I do these, when I do these trivia questions, I don't care if you Google it's whoever knows it or can Google the fastest wins. I, you know, I always try to think of things that are kind of apropos since the Browns are on tonight and we went an hour earlier. Do we need Linda to went, went back in Google? Yeah. All right. The cardiac oh, kids. Oh, yeah, there it is. Woohoo. Now, the reason they're called the Cardiac Kids is they won a lot in the last minutes. And then oh, we yeah. all were like having heart I mean, attacks. It was a crazy Matter of fact, I have a Cardiac Kids uh, t-shirt up for sale right now. Nice. Very nice. That was a season. That was the Brian Sipe era, if any of you know Brian Sipe. Yeah, one of the shortest quarterbacks, but he was a great guy. Yeah, he was really great. And he, in fact, Jason, they just interviewed him the other day because they were talking about the Cardiac Kids and uh, and Sunday night football and uh, they were showing the plays how we were winning in like the, the last 30 seconds of the game the last minute of the game I mean we were you know just it, we almost got to the big big game that year but Oops. didn't quite happen Edward wants to know if I have any plans to do any meets or other events in Canada yeah I, I want to do a week where I hit both Toronto and Montreal because we got a lot of friends a lot of members of the thrifting board in both yeah. those places uh, mm -hmm. it'll be after winter so let's let's call it spring Edward Mm -hmm. And if you, uh, uh, I hope you live on one, on that side of Canada. If you live on the west or the way north, I'm gonna you're gonna be out of luck. But if you live near those places, yeah, that is in the nearest future. All right, okay. Let's get let's get to some fun 
and shenanigans. And so this week was homecoming at our alma mater, Chardon High School, where both mom and I graduated. So that's what our theme was for our pictures this week. Wow. Look at those gloves. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is homecoming night uh, prior to the football game. This is 1960, everybody. And mm -hmm. uh, I was on the homecoming court. And um, if you'll notice the white gloves, and uh, this is how, you know, we dressed, uh, go, you know, we, we had floats back then. I mean, they don't do any of that stuff today. But, you know, they bring the big float in and it's all decorated. And uh, my father actually, uh, all the fathers walked the girls up to the uh, float. And then we stood up and then the captain of the football team came over and handed the roses and the, and the crown to the uh, new queen, uh, which was me. So in 1960, <laughs> mom was so, the queen. So this is going to be the quickest ever. So Linda won the ticket. So congrats, Linda. But now I'm taking it away from you because you brought up the drive. Thanks oh, a lot, Linda. That, that, that's painful. That's, that's still painful that's all these years the later. That was the one that bumped us out. <laughs> yeah. So, so Linda, your free ticket is gone. Just kidding. <laughs> By the way, Linda, message me later, and I'll get you all hooked up. So that was Mom's homecoming. Where are we? I show the Ooh. shoes, Jason, because the shoes oh. were still in style. Hold on. I did, but I'll go back to it real quick. Shoes, guys. I mean, think 1960. Nice bike heel. And, and they're still in that. style today. Yeah. But the gloves and, the, and even that dress, that black dress, I could wear today if I had to. If I could, well, if I could. All right, it. so that's 1960. <laughs> so this week for Mama's Boy, I decided to do my home and homecoming picture from cool. 1988. All right, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Look how short my this was all the rage in the 80s. Those short sport coats, they were yeah. short and double breasted, uh -huh. and I'm going full ducky here. I have, uh, I'm wearing a snake bolo. <laughs> I love it. Shoulder pads. Look how, <laughs> look how spiky and short my hair is. Oh my goodness. That is great. That, I love uh, that girl's name was Jennifer Plummer. She went to the uh, neighboring high school, Mentor High School. Uh, everyone called her one eye because her hair always hung over her one eye. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> and there that? we go. Oh yes. Love it. Good photo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Let's get to your scores, Ma. Hey, okay. All right. Starting off, since we are in the season uh, for Halloween, uh, this was a scarecrow blow mold. I, I finally got it listed. I hadn't had it listed, and I was so mad at myself. And uh, um, it, it wasn't in the best of shape because of some of the paint was worn off, but I originally paid $5 for that, but I did sell it for the 45 bucks. So, you know, poof, you know, I just had to get it listed, Jason. You know, Mommy was delinquent in getting that one done. Oh, uh, jean jacket. This was a lady in the tramp embroidered on the back. Uh, in fact, I showed this in the hall not all that long ago. I paid $3 for it and I sold it for $45. I did take a best offer. So just let it roll. I probably could have waited a little longer. Well, this went quick. <laughs> Didn't I just show this in the hall? This was that uh, Native American Indian beaded belt, you guys, that we paid $5 for it and we sold it for a full price of $39.95. So that went real quick. And this uh, GE record player, uh, we got, uh, oh, I paid four bucks for it. And we got the offer of 35 is, what did I have in there? 30, well, I can't even see it. So yeah, yeah, so it was a $35 offer and I wasn't going to refuse. And it went to Puerto Rico and the guy asked me, does it work? Does it play 45? Does it play the LPs? Everything worked. It, it was in great shape and I see it was delivered. And uh, so that got to Puerto Rico. So that was nice. And oh, I just say, you know, it's not a huge sale, but I only paid a dollar for it. Uh, and I sold it for 20 bucks. Um, but it was an LP, um, you know, and I, I was excited about that one. Um, only because the person, you know, contacted me and said, uh, I see it's been delivered, but I don't have it. And so I double checked with the post office and they said delivered on the front porch. And I wrote her back and said delivered on the front porch two days ago. And uh, someone in the house had brought it in and never told her. You know, right away, mom's in a panic. Oh, God, it's lost. But it wasn't. You never know. You never know. Okay. And I showed this, folks, not too long ago. I, I, I think Oh, I, look at the swimming pool. I know. I know. I mean, this, this was a beauty because it had all the furniture. And as I said earlier, when I showed this in the hall, any of the metal dollhouses with the furniture, you're going to get more money. And we got, we, let's see, well, I, we did spend um, uh, 15 bucks on the whole shebang. But, you know, we, we sold it for the full price. So you, you, 
don't pass up the dollhouses with the furniture, everybody. They they have I have sold every one of I found. You know, I've had three now and I've sold every one rather quickly. I just wanted to show this. I got you know full price on this one, Jason. But it was a yeah, no name. Wow, a Puritan? I know it was a no name brand, and that's yeah, why I put wow. this in. Uh mom had paid three bucks for the shirt originally, full asking price. Can you believe it? I think it was the print. I mean, there was you know, it just sold. There was no offer or right. anything. And just, so and so the smart move by you is Puritan's a shit brand. Yep. No one is going out and looking for Puritan. But look at you didn't even put it in the title because there's no need. Tommy Bahama, Rain Spooner, Tory Richards, absolutely. Right. Puritan. Uh, I want to add Stacey real quick. Yep. Yeah. 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 Sorry about that. There we go. Uh, Stace, give your look again when you saw what a Puritan sold for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was exactly the look you just gave. <laughs> you, know, you know, Stacey, and that's why I put it in the in my scores because of all shirts to get full price. You know, was that well the print is pretty though. I mean, those you know those. those... Print. I'm sure that's why. Yeah, I mean that that's what sold it. But you know that one that one shocked me. I said, oh, I got to show this. So never say never. It doesn't have to be a name brand always. No, so, what, did, you, did you say what you paid for it? Yeah, uh, three bucks. Nice. I know. Good one. And I just sold, uh, showed this a, a few weeks ago, guys. Uh, this is the Prairie Peak Cowboy press board uh, wall hangings um, that uh, were back in the day of when I was a youngster. I uh, paid a dollar for that, and I did take a best offer of sixteen ninety five on that. So that went well. And I just showed these. Uh, this is the Paragon. Sure, Ginny's going to be excited. I know. Yeah, Ginny, I did good on these, honey. Uh, I, I um, paid, I think it was 50 cents that I paid for these. And for, uh, sold them for the full asking price of the uh, 19 bucks. So that went quick. So I guess find more vintage Christmas ornaments. Um, yeah, this, I have, yeah, there, yeah, there, there you go. That's better. These were the uh, Playboy bunny lights that I picked up for a quarter. Where's my 25 cents, Jace? Oh, quarter. hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold all right. On. This I know, a, I forgot to do all this stuff here. Yeah. I got I, I to catch up. I'll give yeah. you this for the for the Hawaiian shirt. Sure. Then we give you a little rainbow for the Hawaiian shirt. Yeah, and yeah. But you know what's happening funny. here? Oh my gosh! What? <laughs> the uh, the lights were um, it, it, in one of those boxes with a bunch of junk. You know, when, uh, how some of them they'll just throw a bunch of things together. And I pulled them out. And I said, I, I said, I said, I said to her, "Will you take a quarter for these?" And she said, "Yes." So that you know, that's how that went. And I, and I sold them for twenty four bucks. Was that? The Here's how you know. When your friends aren't watching your live YouTube show, <laughs> that's why Michael just said I'm watching now. He's messaging me, going, "Hey, can you help me with a Hawaiian shirt?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I so said when my show is over that you're not watching. <laughs> but yes, Mike, I will help you with any Hawaiian shirt you have. <laughs> okay, I got a good story for you on on this, you guys. Um, these were vintage uh, milk bottles, glass milk bottles, and the the carrier was. Um, uh, Lawson's milk carrier. And uh, I got a message from a guy who said, uh, will, uh, will you ship to uh, Japan? And I said, the reason I didn't have international shipping because they weigh more than four pounds. And I don't usually go international when I know it's going to cost an arm and a leg. So he said, uh, you know, will you ship to Japan? I said, well, let me figure what the you know shipping is going to be. He made me an offer of $30 on the, uh, on the, on the bottles, which I said I would accept. I said, but are you sitting down? Here's how much the shipping is going to cost. <laughs> $66.45. He writes me back immediately, said, I will accept your offer. Thank you. And he paid me within two minutes. So the gist of the, uh, the storyline is, those of you who keep saying, I don't know if I should add shipping. This gentleman paid $66.45 to ship it to Japan uh, on a $30 item. Now, what he wants with these antique milk bottles, I have no idea. I just, I, I, you know, that one kind of blew mom away. I thought it was just one of those, you know, those questions you get occasionally from people that just want to be noticed, I guess. But this guy was on the up and up and boom, they're gone. So isn't that wild? <laughs> oh, and then, yes, mom actually uh, didn't last long, did it, folks? I showed this, uh, what, a week or so ago? And uh, we had paid $10 for the macrame, and I did take a best offer of $70 on that, guy. So that went real well. Oh, yeah, and last but not least, um, I've had this for a little bit. I've had a ton of watchers on it, and I sent out one of the offers, the manage offer thingy, you know, uh, in the morning. Of, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I paid $15 for the entire set, you guys. I sent out a, uh, the offer of 100 bucks and got a, off, the offer of 100 bucks sold right away. 
So, you know, you're on know, fire. I know, I know. I mean, I had good stuff this week. <laughs> And I, I'm really excited that I'm finally, I finally got to the the manage offer uh, uh, thing. Hundred bucks, there it is. <laughs> I, yay, I like that. <laughs> that was good. So yeah, it was a good week, everybody. A good week on, on some sales here, they, and just crazy stuff that always happens. You never know. All right, are we ready? So real any? quick, just to tease you guys for thrifty business on Thursday, uh -huh. sold a hundred and forty dollar CD yesterday. That that guess who found? Woohoo! Yay, Steve! Raise it. One hundred and forty bucks. So <laughs> it'll be a testament. To, uh, I'm telling you, if you haven't hopped on my flipping CDs bandwagon, you're missing out of money. But oh, also, you. you can train the person in your life who really isn't into this to help find the cool stuff. So yeah, which is nice. Way to go, Stacy! Absolutely, is trained. Fantastic! Fantastic. Uh, I don't know. All right. Okay. All right, mom. Are we ready for all? All right, everybody. Um, I'm going to show you. Okay, this was a bundle. Okay, and I, I will. I'm going to break these down individually. I've got a basket full of uh, old perfumes and a couple of uh, compacts, along with these vintage tins. Okay, and one web chair. All right, as I'm going to show you and what the value is, I want everybody to guess how much it cost me on my bundle. So we'll watch the chat on that. Okay, Jace. So wait, so the things you just showed, how much all that cost? Yes. And, that one, what you're asking? and one web chair, one web chair, uh, which I did. Oh, okay, and one web chair, got it. One web chair, just can't So quite I'm going to guess more than a quarter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to start and go through these just to show you while, while they're guessing, I'm going to start showing uh, what I found, okay? All right. <laughs> how many remember the uh, perfume or cologne? Whoops. <laughs> uh, Prince Maxibelli. This is a an, uh, spring fancy cologne. It's got four and a half ounces uh, total, but there's about two ounces left. And I'm going to be putting this up for $49, you guys. This is a good one. Well, I hate to break it to you, but you haven't seen the news. You can't sell partial bottles anymore. Oh, you're kidding. Where you, where you been? How did I miss that? That's a whole big to-do. I thought those were yeah. still alone as long as they went on the ground. No, it has nothing to do with shipping. It's... It's eBay said no more partial uh, thingies. So I think uh, I think you can do. Um, I, do? I think you can do Etsy or Macari maybe. Okay, or something. I, I, so, I will then. I will, but uh, you know, but I'm still. But don't try eBay because it won't last too long before well, it's yanked. Isn't that something? Well, all right. Well, this this one will this can go because it's empty. This is an old. Uh, um, it's home H O L M home spray atomizer, the old atomizer bottle, you guys, and uh, this will be put up for fifteen bucks. Okay. So that one is All right, still so you good. got guesses of 250, 12, 550, five and a quarter, eight, 650, 50 cents, eight, <laughs> yes. six, five. Okay, all right. Well, the closest one without going over. No, no, they went over. No, I actually paid ten dollars for everything. All right, so eight, okay. eight, uh, yeah, eight was our winner yeah. then. All right. Spotted yeah. horse trading post, eight dollars was our winner. We don't have a prize, okay. but congratulations. No, no. That was good. That was good. All right. The blue bottles attracted mom right away because uh, Evening in Paris, if a lot of you remember Evening in Paris from back in the day, uh, this is a branch off of, of them, same uh, same maker, which is uh, Bourgeois, uh, and this is uh, French lace hand and body lotion in their fold, Jason. So can I sell full ones? Yes. Well, now, now this isn't perfume. This is body lotion. So what do you think? Is that uh, lotion should be okay. Lotion should be okay. All right, because, yeah. because one of these, I'm going to put up each bottle separately at $35 a piece. Okay. On those. I like it. Yeah. And then, well, so I guess I don't know. I'm going to have to put this on, but this was a Kingsman uh, cologne. Um, and this will sell for around 15 bucks, almost full, but not quite. So good thing you told Oh, So that. apparently, what? apparently I'm a little behind because apparently oh. they changed, two people said they changed it back. Oh, okay. You well. have to list it under collectibles, but there was a big brouhaha where everyone's listings got pulled. Okay. And people were losing their mind. All right, so I can so I can go back and put it in. You think? So collectibles, and you got to make sure you ship it ground. Yeah, yeah, cannot, yeah. I knew that. Cannot go priority. Yeah, yeah. I knew, I knew it has to go ground and and put it under collectibles. Then, okay, I will do that. Um, the other one that I'm going to show is Aquamarine by Revlon. It's an old timer as well, you guys, in the old spray mist. And this particular one, I'm putting up for twenty five bucks. 
So as you can see, what's already here for my $10, you know, uh, investment. Then I've got a couple of these compacts, you know, remember, what did we have on way back when, Jason, that, that specialized? Oh, compact. compacts. Was it Meta? Meta Webster? Mandy, Mandy. Mandy, Mandy. Okay. Yep. So, yeah. So when I saw these laying there, uh, there's no name on this, but it is a cute vintage one. Still has the, the pad. And, you know, that was the powder thing in it. But I thought the plaid was really cute. And uh, I'm going to list this one for 25 bucks. And then this one here is gold plated, probably, I'm sure. Um, if I get it open. Hello. There it is. It's a little teeny tiny one. Still has the. No kidding. I know. It still has the, uh, the, uh, the little pad in it. So, you know, but man, that's a, that's a little one. And I'm going to list this one for 25 bucks as well. So. That's just in that part, guys, you know, so you can see that, you know, my $10 investment. In fact, I threw the 10 bucks at her. And I said, how about 10 bucks for everything? She said, sure. Then in there also, uh, I did find some more tins. Uh, I, I'm sorry to say on this one, the only thing it says is made in England. And it does have stains on it from where the, the taping was on the package. Uh, this one I'll probably list, list for around 25 bucks. It does say made in England on the bottom. And it probably helped candy or, you know, cookies or truffles or something. Now, the other one that was there, this one right here, guys, this is the Queen's Jubilee tin. Uh, it had uh, Cadbury milk tray chocolates in there, and these are selling between $40 and $50, okay? And then, look at this old timer. This is a Whitman's chocolate tin, Jason. Holy crap. No, I mean, I wish it was in a little bit better shape, but I should be able to get maybe around 20 bucks on this, but you can still read it. And the inside is nice and clean. You know, it's not bad, you know, for, for being as old as it is. So we, we cleaned it up as best we could. But, uh, yeah. Now, Jenny, Jenny says, hold on to that one until the queen dies. That queen ain't never dying. Oh, I know. That. I, I, she is I, going I, to live forever. That, that's what I said to dad. I said, we're holding on to this. I'm not going to put up until she passes. I said, of course, she probably beat me. I'll probably go first. <laughs> So, so all that came in one grouping, guys, okay? All right, I threw these up on the uh, thrifting board the other day to get some information, and thank you, everybody, that uh, came to my rescue and gave me some great information. These are food dogs, Case. Are, are you familiar with them, any of these? Yep. They're not older. Or they are a, a newer one, even though they are stamped with a, I don't know if you guys can really see that. Mm, not really see it right up in that corner. It's it's it's. Uh, I see the stamp. I don't know what it says. Yeah, I don't know what it says either. But uh, I think I paid a buck each for these, everybody, and I think between twenty five and thirty dollars uh, for the, the pair. For the pair, yeah, I'm gonna put yeah. them up as a pair. Mm -hmm. So Ridge wants to know where you found this stuff. Oh well, um, the the, the 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 stuff here was at a barn sale. All the, the all the colognes and the and the uh, uh, the the tins and the web chair and the, the web chair. She finally threw it in. I picked it up and set it down. And she says, you can have everything for $10 if you take the chair. Well, she didn't have to take my <laughs> arm, you know. Mom said, oh, good, good, good. Okay. Uh, picked this up for a quarter, a quarter. Miller High Life cap. And these are selling in the range of between 12 and 15 bucks. So uh, we'll get that. This is actually, this is an older uh, um, logo, Jason. This one's a little bit earlier than some of the other ones. Okay. All right. This uh, Tupperware, you know, Mom always likes to pick up uh, Tupperware. This is a vintage cake carrier, guys. It is an like brand new condition i paid 50 cents for this one so two quarters and i'm going to put this up between 15 and 20 bucks but it's it's a nice one. and what makes it a little more valuable everybody is the handle a lot of them don't have the carrying handle so when it's complete um put the complete in your title which i did okay there's that and let's see here i got these three pieces vintage quilted here's the glove holder okay which is nice, and they're nice and clean, everybody, which is really, really nice and in good shape, you know, no tears or rips. Uh, this can be like a jewelry holder. And this is usually, this was usually, the square one was usually for hankies. So, you know, you got the hankies there and they're all in good shape. And I paid, where is it? Where is it? Here it is. I paid uh, two bucks for the whole lot and I'm going to put it up for $45, you guys. Okay. All right. Now. If be my fingers crossed that the tribe will get into the playoffs, but I just picked this up, Jason. This is a nice one, nice banner from uh, 19, uh, what our, our, our first win of 1920. Oh, cool. Yeah, 
And of course, the last time we actually won the World Series was 48. But uh, we have won uh, some, you know, just uh, championships. But yeah, I like it because it's got the old Chief Wahoo on there. So, you know, like we won't be seeing much of him anymore. So I paid two bucks for this and I'm going to put this up for $32, everybody. So that should hopefully go. Like I say, especially if they get into the playoffs, that will really help mom. You know what I mean? Okay. Now, I showed these to Jason. And Jason, I, I, need, uh, I need your expertise on these, honey. These are all sealed. They're Time Life CDs. Uh, this one okay. is, yeah, Sounds of the 70s, uh, the top 40. And this one is uh, FM Rock 2, Sounds of the 70s. And this is Punk and New Wave, Sound of the 70s. So I'm Ooh, thinking, let's see the back of that one. Okay. All right. Uh, Anything good? I see the B-52. Well, well you got to hold it steady. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I was just trying to find my, my sheet. Coming a little head. bit closer. Okay. Big Star, Blondie, Talking Head, Devo, Periubu, Dead Boys. Yeah, that's a cool collection because it's a lot of uh, a lot of more fringe stuff, too. Yeah. Yeah, so, so those being sealed, yeah, I like those a lot. So so should I put the three together? That's what I was thinking. Uh, no, I would do those separately. Separately? Because, yeah, someone who's going to want the one with Alice Cooper. Not necessarily going to want the one with punk okay. stuff. On. All right. Well, the, the way when I, the pricing that I saw on eBay, which is of course not as good as Amazon, uh, but I bought th the th all three of them were two bucks. Everybody, by the way, nice. So, yeah, no, that's why I picked them up. Now the top forty-one, the, I think around twenty-five, Jason. The uh, FM Rock two around twenty. Now, what do you think about the punk new wave? I wasn't sure on that one with the Alice Cooper. Well, that's not punk new wave. Oh no, that which one is that? Oh no, that was the top forty. Oh no, the punk new wave. I only, it only looked like they were going for around 10 bucks. Seal, though? Oh, I forgot to check that. Double check. Oh, that. come on now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't be making these rookie mistakes. Yeah, yeah. You got yeah. to compare yeah. apples to apples. You got to make sure yeah. you're looking at right. seal. I got, I got looking at used is a whole oh, different, different yeah. ball game. All right, uh, I want to point out something before we get too far from it. Yeah. Rich says the cake holder also holds a six pack of beer. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> How do you know that, Rich? <laughs> what made you look at a cake holder and want how much beer that'll hold? Uh, but there is a serious question from Mark. How would you ship the cake carrying case so it doesn't get crushed? Oh, well, basically, when we have any stuff like that, we put, uh, put it, it will go in a box with pool noodles around it because that cushions it. And, you know, we use pool noodles a lot. And, you know, so I would also stick a pool noodle in it. Let me stick myself on the screen here for yeah. a second. Uh, inside of it, like exactly. So, it wouldn't push too much, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dad does that a lot on the things that we ship, Jason. You know, just to stop the pressure, you know? So Dad does do that. And, and Mary of. says beer is better than cake for sure. <laughs> All right. These aren't anything fancy. But for 50 cents, I just couldn't leave them behind. Um, you know, I can and I can always do it. These are women's blouses, you guys. And Jason, you know that label, honey? Yeah. Yeah. New yeah. Nalu. Yeah. So, but for 50 cents. And then this one was uh, Punahou Apparel, this label right here. And, you know, like I said, they're not fancy, fancy, and I'll probably just put these up for like 15, 20 bucks and, and, you know, see how I do. But, you know, whenever we do our events, I always need stuff like this. So, okay. All right. Then, okay, put that on. All right. So, mom came across uh, a couple of uh, costumes. <laughs> you know, I've got to get up really quick. This, I'll show you the picture of the entire costume because it is pretty cool. But it looks like that. She's a sorceress. And all the pieces and parts are here. It was $2. So I'm going to put this up for around 30, 35 bucks, bucks you guys. Uh, it's in beautiful condition, you know, and um, so that will go. Yeah, I'll get you my pretty. Yes, and then, oh, I guess it's, oh, I think I left them out in the other room. Okay, we'll just keep on moving. Okay. All right. Um, I also put these in the chat the other day. I needed some help, and they helped me. I'll tell you, that thrifting board is just the best. So much knowledge. Oh, they are awesome. It, it, they are. It's just fantastic. I found some Pyrex, you guys. Uh, and I paid uh, two bucks, a dollar each for for uh, for these. And I didn't know the pattern. And I, I assumed they were, you know, a little bit older because of the, the the gold color, which they are. The pattern is called Town and Country. They're in beautiful condition. Both have the lids. Uh, I'm going to put these up as a pair for fifty bucks, you guys, because um, I got a pretty good set here. So um, that's on that. Okay. All right. Don't break it. Don't break it. Oh, I know. Okay, let me put this out of here. Okay, Whitman's, we got that. All right. Um, okay, your dad picked up this pump 
It's called Joe Blow Pump. It's you know air pump for tires and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> a really nice one. I mean, I, you know, I would never would have looked at it, but Dad did. We paid three dollars for this, you guys, but we're going to list it for forty nine dollars. So you know, so that was Dad's pick up. Um, I picked this up for a dollar. This is a really nice one. Uh, this is a Guinness lamp. Oh, nice. Yeah, with a, uh, a stainless steel base, you guys. I mean, it's in beautiful condition and works perfectly. And uh, we paid two bucks for this, and I'm going to list this for uh, between $25 and $30 on the lamp. Yeah, so that was nice. Oh, I forgot to put this up for your CDs. Dang. Oh, hey. We're getting fancy here. All right. Now, this is here's one that's going to blow you away, Jason. This is a set of Hoyle games, card games. You know how the little... Tri uh, trivia games, you know, and yep. there are tw uh, 12 packs from movies, oh, yeah, to sports, and you know, all, all they're all here. It's the, the full set of 12. And uh, which one is this? This is um, oh, this is for travel, this is potpourri, and then there's sports and movies and TV and so on. We paid a dollar for the whole set. I'm listing it for 110 bucks, everybody. This, what th th these are in demand. When they sell them separately, Jason, they're selling for ten and twelve dollars a piece. So we, 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 you know, found something that you know didn't realize it was going to be so valuable, but it is. So, <laughs> okay, Mar Rich actually has an answer. When oh, you can't what? find a cooler, and you need a holder for beer. You use a cake holder, and we added ice to it. It leaked all over the car. <laughs> I'll give you an A for effort, but you know that, yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh. Yeah, Stacy said it was upside down. It shouldn't have leaked. Yeah. Uh, sure. Mark said, "Are you in that witch costume? Are you going to recommend? Would you recommend wearing it for the eBay photos? You Co know, I, full costumes. Yeah. If yeah. you don't have a full mannequin, yeah, because it looks better. Right now, uh, there's also the 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 uh, fishnet type stockings, and we do have a mannequin, a lady mannequin with the arms, because there's this thing that you put on the hand. I'm, I told Dad, he said we're, we're working on this tomorrow. I said we need to uh, try and show everything, so I am going to use my mannequin for that. Okay. All right. I know that, you know monkey pod bowls, Jason, are you know kind of common, but look at this one. I just couldn't get over that. Oh wow. Yeah, it was only fifty cents, so you know. Uh, I will probably sell that because it's it marked um, Harry's Cabinet and Curio from Hawaii. All right. Speaking of uh, Hawa um, Ooh, whoa. Uh, uh, Halloween. <laughs> Yike. <laughs> Do I look pretty? I love it. Scared the heck out of me. I probably will list this between uh, 10 and $15, everybody, on that. So speaking of, uh, Stacy and I will be doing a haul within some time in the next probably seven days. Uh, we've been hitting the Halloween racks, and you find stuff like this, of course. But the amount of stuff in a Halloween rack that truly isn't Halloween, but still good to flip if you're skipping the Halloween racks or missing out. And those of you in the Secret Beach you know because there's a full webinar in there for you. If you're new to the Secret Beach or you haven't watched in a while, go back and watch my uh, flipping Halloween costumes webinar. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. For sure. Okay, I picked up two more. Cases. They're nice shape, Jason. You know, with the leather, they, they these cost mom a buck for both. And I'm going to put both of them up together for $24.95. I saw nice. my other one. My other one, it went, boof, gone. Okay. It's right. gone. Yeah, absolutely. All right. This, I, I, I we went to a, a, a barn sale that I went to on Friday and bought one, one thing. And then we went back today because everything was 50% off. No, I went there Thursday. Today was 50% off. So these were two bucks. I got them for a dollar. Oh, cool. <laughs> cute. I know. They're little swizzles with these knitted coasters. I mean, I couldn't pass it up. I just thought it was so unique. But there's nothing really marked on the box anywhere of, of you know, a brand name or anything. So all I've got is knitted coasters, world's finest. So for a buck, I'll probably put these up. I don't know. What do you think? $15? What do you think? Oh, yeah. I mean, if, check Terra Peak. Check uh, Worth yeah. Point. I will. I, mean, I haven't had time to do any research yet on that one. Um, I'm not going to open these, but I, I, I need some advice. These are great flags, you guys. And one is a picture of the scarecrow, which is going to look like that. And the other one is a turkey for Thanksgiving. And so I got both of these for $3. And they're the nice flag, you know, flags that you hang out. And the flags are expensive. I don't know if you've ever bought any brand new, but they usually run between thirty and forty dollars. So, um, do you think I should take them out of the plastic though and show the picture? I mean, I you know, 
I don't know. I, I've got something that's sealed in plastic that will sell much better if I take it out of the plastic. So, okay. that's actually, that, you know, it's not a collectible. It's not like it's a, yeah, uh, that's true. An unopened Star Wars figure. You know, someone's buying that flag. They're buying it to fly it. Well, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. You uh, know, it's not it's not a uh, collectible that you want to keep yeah. in the pristine packaging. Okay, oh gee, look what mom found. This is oh a, my gosh! Did I show this last week? I couldn't remember. No, no. Okay, all right, because you know I had so much stuff you know building up for you guys. Um, this is a uh, kind of like a quilted fabric um, on the outside of this. It's in a pink and it's in very very nice condition. It's not one of the king you know, but it's uh, it was it still bring me all on a quarter. Quarter. That's why I bought it. And so I probably put this up for uh, 20 bucks. Okay. All right. Then. Okay. I don't usually pick these up too much anymore, Jason, but these were awfully cute. Okay. Let me get this around here. Okay. For the pair, I spent a dollar. And these are pretty cute ones. Can you see these? Are you there? Yep. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I got, I got the two straw hats. I'm going to put the pair up uh, for this kind of look, Jason. These are running around 30 to 40 bucks because, you know, cool. they're, they're more common. So, you know. Okay. Then. All right. I also already. Okay. Let me put this over here. Okay. So the, 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 the one chair that was thrown in with all of the perfume. Is here. It's a, it's a regular chair in a nice green, and uh, I think it's the original webbing because the bolts on here are pretty rusty, and the way it's connected, uh, I'm pretty sure maybe you know that um, we might have original webbing on this one. And I will probably try and sell this chair between thirty-five and forty bucks, guys. Okay. Nice. Yep. And um, then I found this, which is the the beach chair, and I picked it up because of the colors. And I'll tell you, when you find these at, at, at garage sales, you guys, I'm not spending any more than $1 to $2. I and mean, people just don't want them. They just want to get rid of them. So this uh, this beach chair one, I will put up for $35 as well. Okay? Very nice. All right. Then, sorry, guys, I got to get to the stuff here. Let's see if I, how well I can show this one, Jace. Well, I'll show that last. I'll show these things over here. Okay. So I go back to this um, barn sale today. That was 50% off. And I was I told that there's three things I want to get my hands on if they're still there. Now I was there Thursday and they you know came back. And I told their dad where everything was placed. And we were second in line. We got there early. We were second in line. And uh, the door opens and he goes one spot. I go, I grab the one thing I saw and grab the third thing. So all three of the things were still there that I wanted. Okay. All right. And that's, and that's always nice when that happens. Oh, I know. I know. All right. So here it is. The blow mold. This is dated 1997, Jason. Okay. Wow. The witch. Yeah, and she's she's a little bit nicked up, but uh, she will bring me. Wait a minute, I got this written down somewhere. Yes, yeah. This witch here, we're gonna list her for 75 bucks. I gotta get her up tomorrow. You know, it's one of those because we're so close to the holiday. And oh, you guys, uh, she is. Oh, I know she's got a name on her. I'm sorry, I wanted to have that for you guys. And it's really hard to to read. Um. Gosh, I can't read this, Jason. I'm sorry. I meant to have the name. The other one I'm going to show you, I, I remember the name. So a couple of questions, and I'm just going to say, go back and watch some of our earlier episodes. Can't imagine shipping out those web chairs. They're super easy. They're not big. Piece of cake. And, uh, yep. And yep. who does your shipping? Big Daddy, my father, does the shipping. So uh, yeah. for, for a 411 Rancher, you go yep. back and watch a couple episodes back, or yeah, uh, I mean, see Big Daddy shipping tips. We don't, it, it's not hard. All you do is on the corners of the sharper edges uh, where the handles are, we put cardboard around there and we shrink wrap, sh shrink wrap everything else. Round, around, around, around we go, slap on the label and away they go. And I have shipped many, many of them that way. Never a problem. So it's really cheap because if you put them in the box, it's too heavy and it's going to cost you way too much money. So that's, that's my recommendation. Okay. Number two, Jason. I've never seen these. I can get them up here. Da, 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 da. Okay. We have three candy corn blow molds. <laughs> I know. Isn't this cool? I, I was so excited to see that these were back there. And uh, they do light up really well. And these suckers, Jason, this is by Union Products, everybody. 
Um, and again, oh, by the way, I paid twelve fifty for for the the witch and twelve fifty for these three. The witch for, I'm putting up for seventy five. The candy corn I'm putting up for one hundred and twenty five. Very rare candy corns. You just don't find them. Okay, so those are there. And the other item that was still there, and I was so excited because Dad and I are running out of these. <laughs> it's a list. Woohoo! Look, we got a water ski. Nice. Yeah, this is a Connolly slalom, everybody. And Dad looked it up, and we paid seven and fifty cents for it. It was had fifteen dollar tag on it, and we're putting this water ski up for seventy five dollars, everybody. So yeah, there's the tag. It was fifteen. All right, okay. come on, kickoffs in eight minutes. Let, let's finish up. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, we got a couple of things left. Hold on, hold on. All right, so there's that. And and and. I know. Okay. And so, <laughs> I got, I'm trying. Sweet busy bee says, "Oh my god, I'm officially drunk." With all these, <laughs> all these twenty-five cent items. <laughs> all right, we'll finish up with these. These were at the sale on Thursday, and I, I, I went up to her. Being the first day, I wasn't sure if she would dick her at all. Uh, they were marked ten dollars each, and I offered her fifteen each, and she took it. Okay, here's our gravel arch. Oh wow. Yeah, this is the pheasant. The pheasants have been, they are, right now, Jason, they are selling for 95. Move it to your left a little bit. Yeah, whoops, two sold for 95. Yeah, say in your left the other way. Yeah, I know. I have to go the other way. Um, so, uh, wait, so I'm sorry. How much are these selling for? They're selling for $95. Two just recently sold for 95 bucks, and I wow. paid 7 50 And the other one, for some reason, the pheasant seems to bring a little bit more money than this next one, but they were both there together. So, again, I paid 7 50 Oops, wow! There we go. Aren't they nice? I mean, they're in great shape. And this one I'll put up for around fifty bucks. This one doesn't. I don't know why. It just doesn't seem to bring as much money. Okay. And that's it. Ta -da! <laughs> Ta -da! All right. Cool. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in tonight. Congratulations to our winner for the Ecom Chicago ticket. Yeah. Thank you yeah. to Ecom yeah. Chicago for supplying us with some tickets to give away. Like I said, if you know someone in this in the armed services or retired. Uh, or someone who just can't afford the whole ticket, have them reach out to me. You reach out to me. I'll get it all squared away. Not going to be a public thing who's getting these tickets. Just let me know. And I am happy to help. Uh, I want to thank my lovely assistant tonight, Stacey. Hey, Stacey. Thank you, sweetheart. And uh, make sure to tune in Thursday night. We're going to have a great time with Jeannie. And we're here yes. all about what it takes, what it's like to win a Shine Award. And then we're going to talk about how she helped out uh, girls who are in the foster care system. It's an awesome story. Oh, and nice. I can't wait to get it scheduled so we can get up there and teach them a class. It's going to be fun. All right. Cool. So go Browns. Yes. Go Emmys. And uh, don't no one bug me the rest of the night. <laughs> I got a lot of TV to watch. Yeah. And I think it's the finale of Big Brother tonight, too, isn't it? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. my God. So, I know. Uh, all friends are coming back now. It's going to be kind yeah, All nighter. Yeah. For sure. All right. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful Sunday evening for selling past your expiration date. I'm Jay. I'm Peg. And we're, <laughs> and we're gone. Bye, Bye everybody. <clears throat>